Hello, today we'll be going through the pneumatic medical full sound system. To start off, we'll go through the checklist that's supplied with the sound system. To begin, you'll receive one sanitary covers large starter pack, which includes 100 pieces. Next, we have our BEP 37 sample pouch of earplugs, 200 pack of BEP 30 starter pack earplugs. Next, we have a 20 pair sample of the CHSRTs. These are the ear tips that go on to the cold headset for CHS29. The earplugs are uh, placed right into the elbow. Next is our sound tubing. You'll be supplied two sets of 10 foot tubing along with the, the dual adapter headset. One NGHS 29 over the ear headset. This is our stereo transducer. This is the only piece of equipment that will be placed in the MRI unit. Transducer will have the connections, the BNC and RCA connections. You'll have the two ports for the pneumatic headsets being plugged in. These ports will be designed to use your adapters, which is also give you the capability of listening to two headsets at once. We next have our iPod Nano. This also comes with the sound system. You also receive the cradle, which will house and charge the iPod Nano. We next have our, our communication microphone, which has one push button for easy use. And will also come with 20 feet of cable. These are our radio filter boxes. These are mandatory for systems anything above a 1.5 Tesla. Next, we have our BNC and RCA adapters. We receive one set. Next, we have our RG223 cables. These will be the hard wiring from the penetration panel from the MRI side, plugging right into your transducer. Having your BNC and RCA connect to here. Our next component is a pneumatic medical patient amplifier. This will help drive the transducer, which will be in your MRI unit. Our next component is the Onkyo CD player with tuner. This will give you the opportunity to go ahead and play CDs. Also, can be used in conjunction with your iPod and Cradle, which will also come with two bookshelf speakers. Nice thing about these speakers is they all could also could be played in separation from the transducer box, so the tech could actually play their own music. We supply you with a demonstration CD, make sure the CD player is working properly, and as well as a power strip for additional power outlets if needed. Last but not least, we have our headset hooks, so when the headsets are not in use, you could go ahead and hang them on the hooks, and that concludes the full sound system. In this section, we'll go ahead and go over the controls of the patient amplifier from pneumatic medical. First off is the power button. Notice that the LED display has lit up. Next to there is our AM FM setting. Next to that would be our stereo mono setting. Next to that would be the memory preset for the stations. But next to that would be your automatic manual tuning for your radio stations. The up and down button located next to that are actually going to be the tuning for the stations. Below there are your six presets. Below that is your auxiliary switch setting from your patient amplifier to a different source, whether being CD player or iPod. Once depressed, you'll see a light will switch over to auxiliary. Our next button is a test button. This is to ensure that proper music and sound is coming out of your amplifier. Next to that is your microphone volume button. We recommend this volume on the, for the microphone be set at 10. Next button next to that is the patient volume button. This should be set at whatever your patient recommends. We have your treble and bass setting. And that concludes the front portion of the amp.
Now that we've done through the front, let's go ahead and look at the back of the amplifier. Here's your power outlet, power source. Above that is your international setting for amp, either at 115 or 220. Next to that are our pre-wiring for our speakers. So we have two commons, which only one will be in use, and then we have two conductive wires going to the 25 volt. Next to that is a stereo or mono setting. Here's where our FM antenna will adapt to. Over here is where our AM antenna will adapt to. Right below the AM setting is the volume fade for the microphone. We recommend this be all the way to the 5 o'clock setting, which will completely fade out music as the tech will speak into the microphone. Next to that is our microphone setting. That's where you plug in the microphone. Next there is your auxiliary setting for your audio sound system. And that concludes the back portion of the amp. In this section, we'll go ahead and go over the proper installation of the sound system. This is the back portion of the pneumatic sound system. This is what it should look like when it's all properly installed. Starting off with our conductive wiring that's wired into our patient amplifier, we have one ground going to one common. There are two commons, but only one common is required. The other two conductive wiring is going to the right channel 25 watt and left channel 25 watt. We then have our output inputs for our RCA going into our, from our patient amplifier going to our Onkyo CD player. We also have our microphone plugged in, our FM antenna. Here is where the AM FM antenna would go. The wire running from your patient amplifier to your penetration panel is 18 gauge two conductor wire with one ground. This needs to be supplied by your installer. Our conductive wiring is going to run from our patient amplifier that's located in the technician's room, and then it's going to run through a con wire conduit to your penetration panel. Once at the penetration panel, you'll go ahead and crimp on the two conductive wire along with the one green ground wire. Go ahead and insert your BNC and RCA to your RF filter, and then install your R filter to your penetration box. It's best that you leave this for your professional installer or your biomed department. Now that we've, we've attached the R filters to the penetration panel on the computer room side, we're going to go ahead and take your RG223 cables and your transducer, and we're going to go ahead and, and go to the penetration panel on the MRI side. From there on, you're going to wire the, the two together then you're going to roll these out to the location of where you'd like the transducer. Now, since we don't have an MRI unit, we're going to use these mocked up BNC connectors and act as your RG223 cables. So once they're plugged into the penetration panel, they're going to run from the penetration panel to the area you'd like to have the transducer placed. Once those are placed, you want to go ahead and adapt the BNC and RCA adapters. And you should now be getting sound out of your transducer. 